there are new possibilities. First John chapter 5 verses 1 and 4. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone who loves him, who begot, also loves him, who is begotten of him. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. This week we've been considering, reminding ourselves of, of our life in Him, of our life in Christ. And the Bible tells us here in the verses that we read that whoever believes in Jesus is born of God. And a truth we've been emphasizing almost every day this week. We are born of God. We are partakers of divine nature. We belong to his family, therefore, and therefore we have a new status. We are heirs of God. We are joint heirs with Jesus. And all these things are ours because we are born of God. It's like God gave birth to you. God gave birth to me. We are sons and daughters of God. And one of the things, our outcomes or results uh, of being born of God, the Bible says here in verse 4 of 1 John chapter 5, Whoever is born of God overcomes the world. Now, think about two things, two words here. Overcomes and the word world. The word overcome simply means to gain the victory over, to have mastery over, to have dominion over. It is, it, it is in contrast to somebody who is subjected, who is victimized, who is brought under the power and under the control of something. You're not that. You are an overcomer. You're somebody who is going to have victory. You're somebody who's going to have mastery over. You're somebody who's going to have dominion over. That's who we are. Whoever is born of God overcomes. You're an overcomer. And get that into your spirit. When you look at yourself in Christ, you see yourself as an overcomer. You say, I will overcome. I will have victory over. I will gain mastery over. And it says, we, whoever is born of God overcomes the world. The world in, in the New Testament, especially in John's writings, represents this whole system of evil and rebellion that's around us. He's referring to everything that's in darkness. He later on states, he's referring to everything that is lying under the control of the wicked one. And you who are born of God overcomes everything that is under the control of the wicked one. Everything that is part of this world system of evil and rebellion, you overcome that. We overcome. Because we are born of God, God has created us. We have the DNA of God. We have the spiritual capacity to live victorious over everything that is in the world, that is in rebellion, that is against God. We overcome. Every work of the devil, you're an overcomer. Every scheme of the enemy, you overcome. Everything that's evil and wicked, you overcome. So now when you are confronted, when you face the evil, the wickedness, the sin, the, the works of the enemy in this world, one thing you have to think about yourself is you're a winner. You're an overcomer. You are victorious over those things. You're going to dominate those things because God has made you that way. You've been born to overcome. That's who you are. And that verse 4 says that this is how we gain the victory over the world, through our faith. So now you have to use your faith to walk as an overcomer, to walk in dominion over this world, the system of evil and rebellion. So use your faith, live as an overcomer. That's who you are. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for who you've made us to be in Christ, in Him. That we are overcomers. There are limitless possibilities now, new possibilities. We can walk in victory where we used to face defeat. We can walk in authority where we once were slaves. We can walk in dominion where we once were sub subjugated. Lord, thank you. We are overcomers. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.